Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Artsy, and today we are continuing on with Amanda Lemos. Here she takes on the number 10 ranked Michelle Watterson Gomez. Uh, Lemos is going to be the minus 295 favorite in this fight. She's going to have one inch of height and three inches of reach. If you watched us in that last fight, we saw Amanda Lemos get choked out in round number one against Jessica Andrade. Standing arm triangle, very rare to see, uh, but uh, she does get choked out does uh, make me question some of the submission defense. We haven't seen too many submission attempts against uh, Lemos here, So, uh, but she did get subbed out. Uh, again, it's rare to s for a standing arm triangle, so it tells it gets me some flags in terms of submission defense. So let's get this fight started to see what happened in here. Um, again, Lemos going to be minus 300 favorite in this fight. Uh, Michelle Waterson going to be more of the karate hottie, they call her. Uh, so she, she's going to be standing at range, throwing kicks and stuff too. Uh, let's see how uh, Lemos deals with this. Let's get this fight started. So huge cage, uh, orthodox versus orthodox. I love the distance that Michelle Watterson keeps. She stands a mile away, and uh, she circles the outside. She's going to throw these like she's going to feint a jab here, and <laughs> it's not even close. She's popping jabs here from across the street. Yeah, here, look at this jab. Pop this jab. and like, let, They're not even close. Michelle Watterson does it all, all the time. So Lemos is going to have to use some low kicks here, I think. She's going to stand in kicking range. Michelle Watterson is going to try to kick back, but uh, I favor the uh, the late kick power of Lemos here in this matchup. There, Watterson trying a far late kick from way out far, not going to land. Lemos tries a front kick as well. We saw her land that against Angela Hill. Uh, I think you're going to have to do some leg kicks just to slow down some of the movement of uh, Watterson. Watterson goes lead uh, inside kick. Doesn't get there. Nothing landed so far a minute into the fight. Lemos goes high with that kick. Partially blocked. Uh, push kick there from uh, Watterson. Not much behind that. There's an outside low kick there from Lemos from Southpaw. So Lemos can switch between southpaw and orthodox. She throws that lead high kick. She throws the rear high kick. Nice jab there from Lemos. Nice hard kick to the body there from Lemos. See Watterson returns it, but there's not enough. There's not the same pop on the kicks. Outside kick there from Gomez. Watterson. Inside kick there from Lemos, nice. Nice right hand counter there from Lemos. Lemos threw three right hands in that. Uh, let's just watch that again. So Michelle Watterson throws a right hand jab, and then uh, oh she threw a front kick, popped a right hand, popped a right hand, right hand. So triple triple right hand there from uh, Lemos, very fast. Watterson is going to have to be careful if she's extending to close this distance, so she's going to be reaching, and Lemos just stands out of the way and throws some counters back. Uh, you're going to watch for that. Nice right hand there from Lemos. Outside low kick there from Lemos. 
Another right hand there from Lemos. Switches to Orthodox. Front kick from Waterson doesn't get home. One, two, three from Lemos. Landed that right hand. Some power on those shots from Lemos. Watch this right kick again. It's going to go inside leg kick, I think. There's that. Oh. Ooh, an axe kick mix missed for uh, Watterson. Right hand there from Lemos. This is the Watterson fight. Where again, she does this in her fights where she dictates the distance. She likes to stand on the outside and try to throw these kicks. And so uh, Lemos is okay with it, I think. She's not taking any damage here. It's it's really just uh, picking Watterson apart at range. Right kick there from Lemos. One, two, short for Gomez. Lemos looking for the left check, left hook. Ooh, ooh. Ah, okay. Not really impressed by the takedown attempts or takedown defense here. So Watterson jumps in. Grabs a leg, immediately turns the corner, and immediately puts uh, Lemos on her back. Lemos in uh, full guard here. She has a butterfly on that left side. Let's see if she uses it. Again, we didn't see a ton of top time uh, for Angela Hill when she got top position here. Uh, would like to see how she deals here with Michelle Watterson. 35 seconds left in round number one. Let's see if she can get up or if she just sort of accepts this position here. Trying to elevate a little bit with that left leg. Maybe coming out the back door. No, now she just hooks it. Now she's stuck in half guard. And I almost trying to get out the back door. There it is, trying there. Eight seconds. Lemos attacking on oh, a heel. Now Lemos used the, uh, the foot lock to uh, reverse the position. Now she's on top. So. Uh, I thought that was a Lemos round before the takedown. Not really sure what happens with the takedown. I'm sure some people give it to Gomez because of the takedown. But Gomez didn't really do much with it. Um, not too impressed with the uh, Lemos takedown defense there. Pretty That takedown came pretty early, uh, easy uh, for Michelle. Again, she was on the bottom three times against Angela Hill. <coughs> Sorry about that. Working on this cough. Round number two, Lemos uh, versus Watterson. Lemos goes right kick to the body. So you get some guys scored a 10 9 for Watterson. 10 9 Watterson, I don't know. I didn't think Watterson landed anything. Lemos lands a right hand there. Left kick to the body there. DC saying Watterson won that first round as well based on the stats. I don't know. There's a big difference between the strikes landing. Like, let's let's just kick off the arm. Right hand there from Lemos. Right front kick clear from Watterson. Left inside low kick misses. All these kicker kicks are missing from Lemo, uh, from Watterson. Left kick there from Watterson. Sorry, right kick from Watterson. Another push kick there. Nice counter right. Nice caught the kick and threw a counter uh, right hand there from Lemos. Ducked on a big right hand there for Lance for Lemos again. Yeah, she's du ducking under here. Now it's Watterson again with the takedown. Lemos able to back back. Ah, oh, another pop standing guillotine. I'm not a fan of this, how she keeps pulling guard. Wow, wow. 
wow, she she got the submission, Gu guillotine. All right, so uh, let's go back to the sequence here. So Watterson was originally one one ducks under, grabs a single leg. Um, Lemos defending, defending, gets taken down, right? Lemos tries to use the momentum to pop back right back up. Lemos jumps on the neck, right? Uh, Michelle Watterson right there jumps on the neck. Right away jumps guard. Uh, I, I don't like how they have to pull guard, but it's deep, right? She must be confident in her guillotine here, arm and guillotine. Uh, Watterson's trying to elevate a little bit, pushing on the leg a little bit, and she tapped on that right hand. Watterson says, yeah, I tapped. Ducks under. Nice duck under. That's two takedowns we saw for Watterson. Just timed it. Turned that corner. Easily got that takedown. But then she got up. Ah, uh, yeah, she jumps guillotine here. That's going to work against maybe somebody like Michelle Watterson. But I question some of the, uh, the fight IQ. She did it against Angela Hill as well. And she ended up on bottom. Uh, I'm not a big fan of just, yeah, she's tapping on the back. Yeah, the referee's on the other side. Can't see it. Uh, okay, so uh, Lemos, submission. Uh, worth noting, I guess. So um, you always have to keep the submission in mind. If she does get attacked by a takedown attempt like Watterson done, uh, Lemos does like the guillotine. She will pull guard for the guillotine. I don't like if she folds guard and doesn't get it. Uh, then she ends up on bottom. We saw that against Angela Hill, so keep that in mind there. But on the feet, again, she looks fast. She looks strong. Um, kicking game, no match there for Watterson. Uh, she did get that takedown in round one. People saying that she won that first round. Watterson did, so I'll have to go back and see what the judges' scorecards were. Uh, it is concerning to me because I do take the better striker, say, for example, in this matchup, and then just that takedown with 30 seconds left with no action there ends up winning Watterson the round, and then you have to get uh, Lemos to win rounds two and three uh, when she slowed down a little bit in those rounds. So um, keep that in mind. We're going to continue watching Amanda Lemos. My name is Art C, and this is Fighting Sucks. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Listen to this. We just hit a massive parlay for $29,000 at UFC 297. That is one UFC after 296 where we hit a parlay for $82,000. That's back-to-back -back parlays. We've made $110,000. And how do we do it? We use our exclusive fighting stats, not available anywhere else. Our exclusive fighting stats gives us information, gives us a big edge over the sports books, and tell us what's going to happen within the fights. We post all that information, our breakdowns, our best bets over at patreon.com slash fighting stats. Don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.